The situation raises the question of whether the burning of Siberia's far greater coal reserves, set alight by lava 250 million years ago, also released catastrophic levels of methane gas into the air. The volcanoes in Siberia would have erupted through the coals to get to the surface. On their way, they would have cooked these coals, and this burning of coal would have released methane, amongst other gases, and this methane would have had an extreme effect on the global climate. As Siberia continued to erupt, temperatures all over the planet rose by a further 10 degrees. It's a climatic change too dramatic to be caused by carbon dioxide alone. There must be an additional culprit. Methane is top of the list because it's over 20 times more effective in trapping heat in the atmosphere than carbon dioxide. Today, scientists are analyzing rocks for proof that methane from the Siberian coal fire was the culprit. They've discovered a telltale chemical clue, light carbon. It's a fingerprint of methane gas, and it has been recorded in every extinction zone all over the globe, from Antarctica to Italy, proof of the eruption's global reach. The levels of light carbon geologists have discovered are so incredibly high, it equates to the sudden release of a trillion tons of gas. Temperatures surged as the methane from Siberia spread across the globe, leaving every part of the planet devastated by climate chaos and mass extinction. This would have been a very nasty place to live. There would have been less oxygen in the oceans. There would have been much warmer and drier conditions on land. There would have been problems with the depletion of the ozone layer as a result of this methane-rich atmosphere. Uh, and so it just would have been a, a very, very inhospitable place to be. But burning coal isn't the only possible source of the methane gas that warmed the world a quarter of a billion years ago. At the Brookhaven Energy Lab, scientists are making ice. But this is ice that burns, methane ice. In nature, it's buried beneath seabeds and locked into permafrost. Its discovery got geologists very excited because there's more energy locked inside methane ice than all Earth's other fossil fuels put together. It could be the fuel of the future, but it could also be the key to the past. After hundreds of thousands of years of eruption, burning coal and melting ice together released enough methane to raise temperatures by some 20 degrees Fahrenheit. Life on Earth was heading for total wipeout. Finally, a million years after the Earth's deadliest eruption began, the most catastrophic event in the planet's history is at an end. But life on Earth paid a high price. Over 95% of species have been driven to extinction 